today's ride another outing with the backyard crew last week it was stinging nettles and sleepless nights today who knows what it's going to be but hopefully not stinging nettles and fields <laughs> As usual on these rides, no idea where we're going, but I do know it's 30 miles, which is a little bit shorter than usual, and we're heading in totally the opposite direction than we usually do. Sun's out, beautiful day, what's not to love? We're gonna show them loads of good stuff today. Sean. Starting with a tunnel. Tunnel. Like that I've seen before. <laughs> before, yeah. I went and it was freezing cold and I just wish I wasn't in it because I felt like I was dead in like a like a fucking morgue box. Morgue box. Lost, morgue <laughs> box. <laughs> How are we gonna all fit in this? This is cozy. I haven't cleaned my bike since last week, so it's probably got cow shit, cow shit. I wonder that down if I got stuck. Oh, <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Are we still at the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> Johnny keeps pressing the button over there. Oh, oh, oh. Pressing minus one. Got to admit, Nick, there is less stinging nettles today, but there is also not much off road at all. So yeah, well, it's quite hot. It's just like I could have just bought my road bike. Exactly. They've changed routes, so I don't know. I thought you were in charge. My bike's making a clicking noise. Can you fix it, please? BB. 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 You've managed to wreck a front mech. Sorry, rear mech. What else have you broken so far? Shifter, chain, Shifter, chain. cassette, rear mech, Jimmy. EB, the spokes on my other bike, Jimmy, and I've only had it four months. Did he crash? <laughs> you stuck it? No, no. Oh, I don't crash. Everybody else crashes. Wait, I, I, I did first what, ride we did together, you crashed. Yeah, I did it for you. Yeah, I mean, like for me just, as a present. Just to see him, you know, like as, as to kind of ward all suspicion of me, so people don't think it's just me making everybody else crash, you know. Even though it is. Yes. <laughs> He can't use a cone. Oh, it's not. Not. <laughs> it's too exciting, crushes it in his hand. Yeah. <laughs> Five minutes before the end. Ice cream stop. Because that's what cycling's about. We're having the pints again today. I, mean, I don't think I can survive another I don't. I don't want another pint. I don't want any more beers. Very bad, bad man. Did you even notice that we started giving you the heat bangers instead of the heat hunters? Did you? Yeah, you have. No wonder I was having. seven percent. <laughs> well, I didn't film last week after this ride. Is that we had a few beers and I had to get a lift home. You. Wait, hang on, you got a lift home as well because Lauren showed up and <laughs> none of us rode home, which is a sensible thing to do. A few is massive understatement. Yours is 7% as well. Don't say we don't provide you a B-roll. Oh, thanks. I've never actually been here. Have you been? So, nah. <laughs> Seen it from a distance. It looks even better close up. What is it? Millennium Bridge. Millennium Bridge. Have yeah. you not been over it? We got one of those in London as well. Yeah, it wobbles just like the London one. So that was a great ride, just what I needed. It's nice to finish a ride without being completely beaten up, dragged through bushes and sore from like falling off your bike and carrying it over fences and stuff like that. Now don't get me wrong, that is fun, but occasionally it's nice to have a bit of a break and just chill. And that's what today's ride was. I'll have 45 miles by the time I get home and a good few hours to start off a week of training. One bad thing to start in the last couple of days though, hay fever. These are the tablets that I take to stop me being hay fevery. They do work as long as you take them within enough time and like load them up. So you've already been taking them for a while before hay fever properly kicks in for the year. The thing is, I think most people forget they have hay fever and then when it comes around to getting symptoms then it's almost too late to start dosing up on antihistamines and the damage is already done and you're in this horrible state of having to take more and more and then getting more and more 
drowsy. And that's the problem with these. They literally say on the packet, non-drowsy, but they make you drowsy. I don't know if this is just me, but I also find I can't wake up properly in the morning after taking them. Great for insomnia though. Now I don't know exactly how much difference this makes, but I have heard if you do suffer from hay fever and you're taking standard over-the-counter pills, it's best to take them at night because they should last 24 hours, but most of the drowsy effect comes on early on in their course of action and you want to be asleep at night. Particularly if you're doing sport, because that can really mess you up if you're suddenly feeling really drowsy and tired and you're supposed to be performing. If anyone else has hay fever related tips, let us know in the comments because um, I don't want to suffer this year. It has been better than most years though. Touch wood. Do you remember that really sad video that I made where my big white wall that I was using to take photos of bikes outside was destroyed by the wind? Today, it is being resurrected. I'm just waiting for Jimmy. It's a two-man job. <laughs> Isn't this how you cut cardboard? Perfectly good scissors. Perfectly good saw. Hand saw. Pull. You're actually stuck. Stuck in a spider's web. Cut my leg. Oh, look. Oh, Jesus. That's good. <laughs> Good to see you, Daisy. Yes, I haven't seen you in ages. I have not seen you in ages. Oh. I'll see you. You literally at work just, just then. Is that a joke? Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a personal, it was an in-joke. It wasn't for you. I wasn't in. Or the people inside of the... Do you want a hay fever tablet? Uh, no. Your face looks like you need a hay fever tablet. You should see my eye earlier. It's my oh, eye. What's that? Star anus. Anus star. I think she means star anise. Is my eyes still look like a devil eye? It's a lot better now. I'll send you a picture next time it goes horrible. This looks fancy. Well, we haven't been eating very well recently. I ordered us a gusto box, which we can only do for one week because then we're going to London. <laughs> but it'll be a good little test. And I think we do it for a bit, get some recipes, change up how we cook. I think everyone gets into a bit of a rut of cooking. Eating pizza every day. No, but we just, we have like the same like, four or five meals that we cook or whatever, but that's it. They don't have loads of nutrients in them. <laughs> As people love to point out. I don't know what you're talking about. I think beige food is perfectly nutritious.